Bonjour. <laughs> I love this city, man. This is the third time I've been here. Fantastic. I'm, I am an Australian. I lived in the UK for like 10 years. Now I live in LA and um, I do a lot of traveling with this job. I go to Iraq once a year to entertain the troops. Thank you. Thanks. Now the, uh, First time I went out there, they flew me and my manager into uh, Kuwait in a normal passenger plane, right? <laughs> then a military truck drives me and my manager over the border into Iraq and drops us off, and that truck pisses off. <laughs> and we're standing in the middle of the desert of a war-torn country. I can't see anything on the horizon. I turn to my manager and go, good booking, dickhead. <laughs> Then this helicopter comes in over the horizon and lands in front of us, and this soldier runs off and goes, are you Jim Jeffries? And I was like, what other white guy were you looking for in the desert at this exact location, big guy? <laughs> then he handed me my bulletproof vest and my helmet. Now, obviously, he was, was wearing his. His was camouflaged. Mine, blue. <laughs> And I said, why do I have a blue vest and helmet? He said, well, that's so the enemy know you're a civilian. And I was like, does the enemy give a shit? That's my main concern. Because <laughs> I've never been a sniper, but every time I got off the helicopter, I was surrounded by soldiers protecting me. If I was a sniper, I'd be like, the guy in blue looks important. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we get off in this helicopter. I'm sitting here. I've got two soldiers sitting next to me there. My manager's sitting there. He's got two soldiers sitting next to him there. There's a couple of soldiers in the cockpit. I've got a great big door open next to me there. There's another big door open there. And at that door, there's a soldier with a big gun on a hinge with bullets coming out of it like that thing that Chewbacca wears. And we take off and off we go to Baghdad. And as we hit the border of the city, I hear a great big bang. And these two small flares shoot out from the small wings of the helicopter, followed by a trail of smoke. And then the helicopter went <laughs> Now the reason they do this is, when they get over the danger area, if there's a heat-seeking missile, it'll be distracted by the flares, and then the helicopter will fly to range. Very clever. Now, they didn't tell me <laughs> this was happening. As far as I'm concerned, the wings have just exploded. <laughs> and we're now plummeting to our death. And it's, it's nice to know how you react under pressure because I reacted thusly by vomiting over my lovely blue vest, ironically making it more camouflage than it was before. <laughs> and yelling out, we're going down! The pilots and the gunners, they're all pissing themselves laughing. They've been waiting for this joke for months. They're all high-fiving. I'm cleaning vomit off myself going, oh, you guys, you're a lot of fun. That was, that was great. That... <laughs> Hey, thank you for defending my freedom, right? <laughs> so I'm feeling all queasy, and I'm just looking out the door over Baghdad. By the way, Baghdad, beautiful city, untouched. And <laughs> I look out and I see a little Arab fella with a handgun shooting up at a helicopter. Just <laughs> once again, I freak out. We've been fired on! The gunner now is laughing even harder than he was before. He's laughing so hard, he stopped doing his job. He's like killed over laughing, the gun's dangling out in a hinge. <laughs> I'm like, what's your problem? And he's like, Jim, you're gonna have to calm down. We're in a military helicopter with a bulletproof bottom. That's a handgun. We're so high up, the bullets can't even reach us. They just sort of go, and then I jokingly said, huh, I bet our bullets can reach him. And he went, oh yeah. <laughs> and the little guy died. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was just saying, mate. I, uh, <laughs> I didn't want to ruin anyone's day. <laughs> Thank you very much, Montreal. And then you're gonna be dead for a lot longer than you were alive. Your life is a little larva stage to mostly what you're ever gonna be. You're just dead people that didn't die yet. <laughs> Who the hell uses an Indian as a slave? We don't make good slaves. Do I look ready to do hard labor right now? No, we don't do hard, we'll give a calculator, we'll do your taxes. You know what I mean? We don't.